Welcome to this video on solving linear equations with the unknown or variable on both sides, part two. Example one, you may pause and have a go. Now the first part here, I'll be adding one on both sides of the equation to get rid of the negative one on the right hand side. So I'm left with x over five plus three equals to two x over five. Now the next step is to subtract x over 5 on both sides of the equation. So I'm left now with 3 equals to 2x over 5 minus x over 5, which I can simplify to 3 equals to x over 5. Now in order to find x, I'm going to multiply 5 on both sides of the equation. Now this will give us 15 equals to x which I can just flip round to present it as x equals to 15. And that's our answer. Example two, you may pause and have a go. Now, before I demonstrate how we solve example two, I want us to observe example one. They both have algebraic fractions, but with example two, you'll notice that two algebraic terms separated with an equal sign. In comparison to example one that has four terms, two algebraic fractions, and two integers, plus two and negative one. Therefore, with question two, I can start off by cross multiplying to solve this question. So I'm going to multiply both sides by five, and then we're going to expand the brackets. So we're left now with 5x plus 10 equals to 10x minus 5. So next I'm going to subtract 5x on both sides of the equation. And I'm left with 10 equals to 10x minus 5x minus 5. So I'm going to add 5 on both sides of the equation to get rid of the negative 5 on the right hand side. And I'm left with 15 equals to 5x once it's simplified. Therefore, to find my x, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And I'll get 3 equals to x, which I could just switch around and represent it as x equals to 3. Well done. Keep on learning. Don't forget to click the like button, press the notification bell, and subscribe for more of our daily videos.